Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is MHL Engineering, and today I'm going to be doing a more in-depth um, video on how to create a more advanced Twitter uh, client, well, app actually. So, um, one of you guys requested this, and I'm doing it. I'm sorry, I can't exactly do all your requests right at this um, right when you asked, but I'm seriously really busy. So you're going to have to give me time. I will take all your requests into account, though. I, I'm really busy, so sorry about that. Let's get started. Let's go into Xcode, create a new project. Let's just select a single view. We'll be fine. And we'll call it Tweet2. Click Create, and we can get started by importing our framework, our Twitter framework. So there's two ways to do this, but this is a pretty easy way. Let's just go into frameworks, click on one of the frameworks, right click, click show in finder, and go drag in our Twitter framework right into the frameworks folder. And we can click finish, and there we go, we have our framework. Now we're going to do the coding. It's not that long, it's not that hard, and it's very easy to understand. So, after the UI view controller, we're going to do an open curly bracket and close it. After the, the closed curly bracket, we're going to do an IV action to open the tweet compose composer. So we're going to do IV action start tweet ID sender. And that'll be fine. You can actually name it whatever you like. So let's just copy this and paste it in our dot M. That's all we need in our dot H. And we're going to define what it's going to do. Set of semicolon, we're going to do an open curly bracket and close that. Now we have to import our Twitter framework. We're going to do number sign import Twitter forward slash twitter.h so it knows what we're talking about. So now, first, we have to declare the Twitter controller. So we're going to do twt compose view controller star and we're going to name it tweet controller space equals space and we're going to allocate it and initialize it twt compose view controller a lock and then close that and then do init and then close it again okay so now we can set our initial text by uh, using a string so we can go we can tell ns a string we're going to name it um, initial string space equals space and then we're gonna do NSS string string with format and at and then print uh, sorry quotations and anything you would want to write in those quotations remember in the actual composer you can delete this text and write over it this is just giving you a general idea so we're gonna do hello friends and close the brackets so now we're going to actually add the initial string. Actually, you can call it whatever you want. So we can do tweet controller, which is what we named the compose view controller. So we're going to do tweet controller add oh initial sorry set initial text and the string we called it initial string. So we're going to do set initial text initial string. So that'll set the text. And now, say we wanted to add an image. Now, there's many different ways of doing this. You can get more advanced and link it into your camera and photo library and add an image from that. Uh, so if you would like me to do an, uh, maybe a future video on something more advanced, just send me an inbox, something you might want to see, or post a comment. So drag in our image here. forgot to do that. Just anywhere. Just drag it into our project and click Finish. I have an awesome picture of a double rainbow. So um, now we're going to add the image. It's going to nicely clip it onto your tweet. So we're going to do tweet controller. Actually, we're going to declare the image first. So we're going to do UI image. We're going to call it tweet image space equals space UI image image named. And then whatever your full image name is, you're going to put inside quotations. So we're going to do I think it's I 
M G or whatever. Whatever your image name is. O O four seven dot J P G. And also put the extension in there as well. So now we're gonna do a tweak controller, add image, and then whatever we call the image, which is tweet image. Okay. Now just a few more things. I'm gonna show you how to um, check whether the Twitter um, the Twitter can send a tweet. This is whether if it if you haven't signed in, maybe it won't be able to send a tweet. So maybe you want to put an alert, or if there's no internet. So we're gonna do if uh, bracket twt compose view controller can send tweet. And then we're going to do our statements in here. We're going to do self present model view controller. So we're going to actually open the tweet compose view controller. We call it a tweet controller. Animate it. Yes. So if it can send the tweet, we're going to make it open the compose view controller. And if it can't, let's say, let's just do else. And let's just put an alert view. So we're going to do UI alert view alert space equals space UI alert view a lock in it with title let's say oops you can write whatever you want this is just for demonstration purposes message at um, tweet could not open I don't know Let's just and you can you can put whatever you want. Delegate will be self. Cancel button title will be dismiss, and we'll have no other button titles. Although you can add some of the buttons nil and nil. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, sorry, actually I forgot to do alert show. We have to make it show alert show so now we're gonna do something to check if the Twitter was cancelled and we'll display it on later this is just something that I'm gonna show you real quick so we're gonna do tweet controller dot completion handler space equals space those I forget what that's called um, sorry guys I'm really tired TWT compose view controller result and we're gonna make it we're gonna call it let's just call it result okay I close that and do an open bracket and then we're gonna do if um, result equals equals TWT compose view controller result done or cancelled so let's just choose cancelled this is just a demonstration and then we're gonna let's do an alert view. So let's copy our alert view code and paste it in between the brackets. So it's gonna check if the result was canceled, and it's gonna say, um, let's just say tweet canceled, and let's just say your tweet was canceled. Okay, and then we're gonna after this close the bracket. We're gonna do self this dismiss model view controller animated yes, and then after here we're gonna do a semicolon after this curly bracket. So that's all we need, and let's go into our view controller .xib. I'm also gonna show you how to add a URL URL as well. It won't, it's not that long. And then we're going to do tweet. Let's just add a button. Go to file zoner. Uh, drag start tweet to tweet and touch up inside. And let's run this and see how this works. So, as you can see, we can click tweet. Oops, I'm sorry. I must have done something wrong here. Uh, 
what I do. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I accidentally put the image as to present the controller. So in the present model view controller, you do tweak controller. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. So let's run that because we obviously have to open the tweak controller. So let's click tweet. And as you can see, it nicely clips the image onto our tweet and it will send it with the tweet. And it adds our text. As you can see, you can delete it. And let's click tan cancel. And as you can see, it displays an alert. Your tweet was canceled. And it does not display that alert because the tweet can in fact send. So let us let me show you how to add a URL. So delete this image. And let's do tweet controller add URL NS URL URL with string NSS string string with format at and then whatever website you would want to clip onto there. So let's do HTTP colon slash slash forward to forward slashes www dot apple dot com and close it and that's how to add a URL. It's actually quite simple what I what I do here. Oh I sorry. Close it twice. Three times. Sorry about that guys. Now let's run it. Click tweet and as you can see it does like a Safari type icon there telling you that it has in fact clipped on a URL. So that's very cool. And that's how a little bit more advanced Twitter client and um, it, uh, inbox me or email me or leave a comment saying whether you'd like uh, what other things you would like to see. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.